This is Jupiter Today for the 2nd of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's two Jupiter satellite events and four satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west, along with Ganymede and Callisto. At zero hours 29 minutes, EO goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,556.1 kilometers. And then from 141 to 146 UTC, Europa occults EO. It's a 4.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.507 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.223 magnitudes and a nice distance away, 77.14 arc seconds from Jupiter. And then from 321 to 326 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 4.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.608 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.241 magnitudes. EO is going to be 56.25 arc seconds from Jupiter and Europa and EO are 41.44 arc seconds apart. And by, zero, and by 6 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant 4, heading east, moving, going to be moving behind Jupiter fairly soon. And Ganymede is at its western elongation, going to be heading into quadrant 4, heading east. At 6.56 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And then from 9.36 to 10 hours UTC, Callisto occults Ganymede. And that's kind of a neat one. That's here. This is about 10 hours. And this is about 10 hours. So it's a fairly long shadow there. It's a 24.2 minute event with a very small impact parameter, 0.047 arc seconds. So this is pretty much a direct occultation, a total occultation. It's got an estimated magnitude flux drop of 1.009 magnitudes. And it's a great distance away from Jupiter too, 208.54 arc seconds. So most definitely, those of you that can make photometric measurements of this event, this is this is the one to, to get. And then at 1020 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. By 12 hours UTC, EO has moved behind Jupiter and is now at quadrant one, heading east. And Europa is soon to be at its western elongation going to be going into quadrant four heading east. By 18 hours UTC, EO is at its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two heading west. Europa is past its western elongation and is now in quadrant four heading east. From 1904 to 1920 UTC, Callisto eclipses Ganymede. It's a 16.3 minute event with an impact parameter 0.748 arc seconds. So not a very steep one, that's a little graze. Estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.189 magnitudes, but a nice distance away from Jupiter, 267.97 arc seconds, with Callisto and Ganymede being 83.7 arc seconds apart. And then at 2107 UTC, Europa goes through a perigeove, that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. 
and that's 664,852.8 kilometers. And then at 2146 UTC, EO goes through its perigove, and that's 420,039.3 kilometers. So you can see that the perigoves of EO and Europa are on pretty much opposite sides of Jupiter. And then by zero hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant two, heading west, Europa and Ganymede both in quadrant four, heading east, Callisto ending the day where it began in quadrant three, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons over the next 24 hours. So here's Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and again we see that very symmetrical, nice looking shape there. There's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, Ganymede and Callisto, and then I combine them all to get that for today. I also have this month's orbit crystals. These are the same spatial and temporal connections you just saw, but for the following month, so for the month of April. So here's Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all these and colorize them a little bit to get that. And I also have the same thing with the orbits drawn in in white. So it's another beautiful month at Jupiter, as you can see. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. standing on the equator of Jupiter. There goes Leo into Jupiter's shadow. And there we pop back out. Is Europa passing near Ganymede? won't actually see the crossing at this longitude. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, the first at 2.51 the second at 12.47, and the third at 22.43 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was no new radio data or no new papers. 
So it's zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 46.2 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 59 minutes, 35.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 120.722 degrees. The phase angle is 9.243 degrees. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 713,393,589 kilometers. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 800 million 137,876 kilometers. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 33.52 degrees, CM2, 354.69 degrees, CM3, 277.65 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing. Tell everybody that you know about this daily podcast mostly daily unless we have some technical difficulties so you can send your questions and images and comments to the email shown and until tomorrow i bid you peace